हेलो स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ड्रॉप अ लाइक शेयर एंड कमेंट दिस इज एक्सरसाइज नंबर एटीन ऑफ द प्रोग्रेसिव मंथली मैगजीन सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ऑन द स्पीड ऑफ हंड्रेड वर्ड्स पर मिनट स्टार्ट It is for me a great pleasure to associate myself with the formal opening of the Indian Institute of Technology at Kharagpur. When I assumed charge of the Ministry of Education in 1947, I felt that of the many tasks of educational reconstruction that faced the country. two were of paramount urgency the first was the creation of a nation wide system of basic education for all children of school going age and the second the provision of facilities of the highest type of education in the technical field you are aware that the prevailing system of education in the country has been mainly literary and academic it has not supplied us with the high level scientific and technical personnel that is necessary to develop our economic and material resources and improve the standard of life of our people for such education we have had to send our students abroad and from various points of view this has never been and cannot be fully satisfactory one of the first decisions i took on assuming charge was that we must so improve the facilities for higher technical education in the country that we could ourselves meet most of our needs the large number of our young men who had been going abroad for higher training could have received such training in the country itself indeed i looked and still look forward to the day when the facilities for technical education in india will be of such a level that people from abroad will come to india for higher scientific and technical training the government of india has already before them a scheme for the establishment of four institutions of the standard of the mit I felt that whatever the financial and other obstacles we must go ahead with the implementation of that scheme the first item in that program was the establishment of the eastern institute near calcutta and i am happy that in spite of the tremendous difficulties we have had to face in the last 4 years we are able to participate in the opening of the institute today i would here like to place on record my deep appreciation of the generous help we have received from the government of west bengal who have given to the institute free of cost a magnificent plot of some 1200 acres and this building it has been clear to me from the very beginning that this institute must provide instruction of the higher standard under the supervision of recognized authorities in their respective fields we have intended that only men of the highest quality should be in charge of the different departments and we have not hesitated even to go outside india to recruit professors wherever necessary we have also felt that there is no point in providing specialized courses merely because such courses exist 
elsewhere but those courses should be provided only if a clear need for their provision is felt we have therefore decided that facilities in different subjects will be made available at the institute only when we are satisfied as i have said earlier these higher technical institutes are intended to fill important gaps in the provision of facilities for higher technical education pending the establishment of such institutes we have sought to fill some of these gaps by improving the facilities available in the existing institutions on the recommendation of the all india council for technical education a scheme for the strengthening and improvement of 14 engineering and technological institutions situated in different parts of the country has been sanctioned and is now in the third year of its operation this scheme will cost approximately rupees 1.5 crore the government have also sanctioned large amount for the development of the indian institute of science bangalore now that the indian institute of technology has been established fresh encouragement will be given to the improvement of technical education throughout the country the institute will provide post graduate and research facilities which can be utilized properly only if a sufficient number of graduates in engineering and technology of a sufficiently high quality are forthcoming to take advantage of the facilities offered this aspect of the question is constantly in our minds and i can assure you that the government will continue to take a deep interest in the all round development of facilities of technical education throughout the country the institute which is being inaugurated today will have provision for the teaching of 2000 students at the undergraduate level and 1000 students for post graduate study and research these students will be drawn from all over the country and their close association in a fellowship of study and research in some of the most formative years of their life will we honestly hope develop in them a consciousness of their common indian nationality and culture the institute's main function is no doubt to provide facilities for training high grade engineers and technologists but facilities for research as well